All right, everybody, here I am. This will be a short and sweet video uh, taking stock of what's going on. Um, here we are. You didn't see my face last week, so here it is. Ah, hope you're doing okay. Um, so yeah, so let's do a little bit of a recap, shall we? Um, where have we been? Uh, we've had two units on interdisciplinary topics. Uh, one has been happiness. One was a role-playing exercise on slavery and abolition. Um, at the very beginning of the class, we had an introduction to interdisciplinary studies, which is what the class is about, um, meaning, history, significance. Um, if you want a refresher, you can go back into those first few weeks of the semester and review those lectures and recordings. That's why they're there. And then we've also had uh, some complex interdisciplinary problems to explore, sometimes called wicked problems. Um, wicked not meaning they're like satanic, but wicked meaning that they are um, difficult to solve. You know, you, you change one part of it, something else gets messed up. Uh, so they're like real life. And real life is an interdisciplinary problem. Um, so yeah, you identify the problem, you identify the relevant disciplines. That's what we're going to be doing more of. So we've learned how to do some of this, and uh, now we're going to do more, and it's going to be relevant to you. All right, so the integrative process, your intellectual autobiography, and your degree plan are the things that remain. Um, so for one, the integrative process is how we identify, identify, sorry, complex problems and break them down. So that's a process, right? Get it? And then we solve problems and integrate the solution, produce an integrated solution to the problems. There's a whole video where I break down the integrative process worksheet. It's all done in a way that it's I'm not going to say it's like super easy to follow, but it's totally doable and it's customizable for you. And I'm here to answer questions. So all of those things are good. There. How do I aim there? I will aim here. <laughs> um, then you're going to look at your intellectual autobiography. What do you like to think about? Why? What kinds of things do you want to learn as you grow throughout your life? That's relevant to everyone in college or not. Um, and then finally, your degree plan. So you're going to use what you came up with in your intellectual autobiography and help develop your degree plan. You've got that integrative process sheet where you're looking at how to solve complex interdisciplinary problems that interest you. Um, and then you're going to, you know, find a way to take classes that help you do that. Take classes that help you meet your intellectual and personal goals. And that's amazing. I think that's a fantastic chance. This is the kind of thing that I know it's work, but it's exciting work. It's the kind of work you want to do because it's directly impacting your experience as a student at West Georgia. So this week, what are we going to do? Number one, I've got an integrative process video ready for you to watch. Number two, you've got an integrative process assignment to read. Then you're going to make notes on step one and step two of that worksheet. Um, it's all there on course done. There's a video. Everything's good. You don't need to turn these in for another week. Um, you get a little time to kind of just like think about it. Um, and then uh, if you have questions, we can brainstorm, we can set up a chat, we can do whatever you need in order to help you get started. All right. It's a short video this week, but I hope you're doing okay. Uh, hang in there. You're, we're almost through whatever this time in our lives is. <laughs> All right. Take care, everybody.